Welcome to Z Tutorials. This is our geektalk.tk website design. And we're after doing loads on this website and now I just want to show you guys a quick tip. I've been thinking of doing these quick tips with a long time because I just want them to be two or three minutes long. Um no more than five minutes anyway, definitely. And today we're gonna to be looking at how to use borders and padding. Borders and padding is a great tool and it's just simply using CSS styles. Now there's two ways you can do this. I want to have my border on the left hand side there on the right content ID. You can do this two ways. I'm going to show you guys both ways and you can decide then which way you want to use. Both of them are equally easy um, but I'm going to start off with the way that most people like to design it um, using the CSS styles panel on the right where the dialog box comes up. But if you go to your style.css document you can put it in there. You can put in border left width, border left style and border left color. Now if you don't have this CSS styles on the right, this is the second way by the way, this is the way I'm going to show you. Just go to the window tab and make sure CSS styles is checked. Then you'll have this panel on the right and you just want to double click on the right content and it'll open up this dialog box. Now on the category there you got loads of options, you just want to scroll down to border. You want to uncheck width, you want to uncheck style and you want to uncheck color. Now we're going to put the left to a solid style. We're going to put the width to one pixel and we're going to put the color to, well you can have just a black but I'm going to make it the same size as this so if I just click that it'll bring over my eyedropper tool and I'll just select that um, that dark grey there and click apply and as you can see there's a little slitter in there. We're just going to put that to two pixels so you guys can see it better and when you're done with all that you can just press OK and as you can see the border is there but the text is right up next and it just doesn't look very good. Now we want to put that text out a small bit so that it looks like it's not clung up next to it. Again you can do this in your CSS styles panel but if we just go to our style.css document you can see our border left width, our border left style, our border left color. It filled all that in for us when we did it in the, the dialog box. As I said you can do it this way as well. We're going to put in a padding left here of 3 pixels and close it with your semicolon. When we go into design view there's a big catastrophe. As you can see everything has just been pushed down. The website looks like there's going to be something seriously wrong with it. It's just not going to look good obviously. Now we need to remedy that. We added on 3 pixels with the padding which means that we need to take away 3 pixels from the width. So change that to 723 pixels width and as you can see it worked perfectly well. Previewing this in browser. This is actually Google Chrome by the way and as you can see it looks pretty good we have our border on the left we have three pixels in from each side and it just looks very very good now guys we're gonna have loads and loads of these quick quick tips so uh, make sure you stay tuned for them ones um, I think next up is gonna be our forum how to do a forum on your website and there's loads and loads of tutorials if you're a bit lost just go back in my tutorials and you'll find out what you're missing out on so thanks for watching this is Z Tutorials signing out